Hey y'all, hey, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. I'm just kind of chillaxing. I'm not quite hungry yet, so I went and got me some cashews just to snack on. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the illusion of social media today. But before I do, let's talk about the alphabet of the day, and it's R. The alphabet of thankfulness is R. And as I thought about that, I thought about um, what mine was, and mine is resources. And so I'm looking something up for y'all just to see this, and I thought about God provides us with so many resources, and we just have to know how to use them. And I want to read something to y'all. You need to know as a child of God, Know your resources as a child of God. And it says you need to know how to draw upon the inexhaustible resources of God's love, wisdom, power, forgiveness, and abundant grace by faith alone. It is impossible to walk vigorously and dynamically in the spirit without spending unhurried time in fellowship with our Lord and his word in prayer and in personal study. I thank God for his resources. His resources of love, wisdom, power, forgiveness, and abundant grace. And I thought about that, so that is a blessing. And I just want to take time just to say, make sure you use those resources that God has blessed you with. What is your R for today? What is your R? Anyway, I was on this young lady's post earlier today. I ended up coming home early because I'm in a lot of pain. And so... I took something. I fell asleep fairly, fairly quickly because I took something when I got home. And I ate a little something. I slept for about three hours. I feel a little bit better, but I'm still in pain. Right? And I thought about how people could become glazed over. Because I've seen a couple of posts on Facebook, too, by what others do on social media. And Comparison is the thief of joy. It truly is. Because this young lady explained her job that she was a teacher, right? And she wants to get away from her career. I'm going to tell you a little short story. She wants to get away from her career. But some kind of way she does travel teaching now where she helps teachers in their classroom. And she's a funny lady. She became an affiliate on TikTok shop and she says she's not really selling. And she wants to quit her job. And she said, who knew that you could make money off social media? But she hasn't made the money yet. And she's 48. I remember her saying she was 48. And she was comparing herself to some 20 some odd year old girl. And she said, good for her. But that she's making so much money on social media that she was able to buy something, able to be a stay-at-home mom, able to do this, able to do that. <laughs> well, then I was on Facebook. And the lady was saying she was just talking about it's not realistic to quit your job. And thinking you're going to make it on social media, just like that. So someone in the comments, it was the first few comments I just read them, said, and I did say something back to this. Well, what about be loved? Okay. Then another young lady, I'm giving y'all three synopsis now. This young lady, the other, the first young lady, she's married. And her husband has a good job working out on the, the oil rigs or something. Like, you know, out when you go out, like, and work and then come back. That's the first thing. B. Loves, of course, had a husband. But these are just two examples, and they both had husbands, right? The third example, and the other girl was already a stay-at-home mom anyway. She just was trying to find something to do. The third example of is someone who said, and she's on here, her name is Jasmine 
on TikTok. I can't remember her name on here, but I've seen her YouTube videos. She was a security guard, and she said she was so depressed and so stressed, and she's a single mother, and she quit her job and applied for welfare. I know she's from New York somewhere. And so she had posted on, she never thought she would be here because this quarter she made like $54,000 last quarter, she said. And she posted it, the results. And she said that was on just one of her social media platforms, right? Right. I'm saying all that to say this. Although it was real for them, it's an illusion, right? That we get trapped into thinking that, hey, I'm going to hit. Now, of course, I had a different situation. I'm on social media platforms, but I don't make near that kind of money. I do make some money, but nowhere near that. Way from that. And, but I never thought about quitting my job. That's not what I asked God for. I didn't ask God to blow up on social media so I can quit my job. And that's not going to be everybody's path. You see all the TV shows, all the TV shows you've seen over the year, how they go for a little while, they get canceled. Some you think are great, get canceled. Some never make it off the, uh, the episode room floor, the pilot floor. You know, there's different levels to this thing. There's only going to be, even the TV shows, there's only a small percentage that lasts years from years. For example, look at all the soap operas. And look at the ones that still stand in. It's only few and far between. I remember when I was a little girl, and my grandmother used to watch, As the World Turns, General Hospital. Uh, I know As the World Turns was one. Uh, I can't think of some more, but... I remember we used to watch Fantasy Island and the Love Boat. None of that stuff come on anymore. At some point, you might be a major player in the game. You might be a micro player in the game, right? But don't think that your journey is supposed to look like someone else's. And so I made a comment about beloved. Because I just knew her story because she told it on here. People, you do realize that B. Love's household was not dependent on her still working. Her household was not dependent on her income from a job. She had the luxury of having a husband who had a career at GE. A good company. She had benefits. She had a support system that could, she could walk away. They had things in place where they lived a nice life. Yeah, they're living better now, but they lived a nice life then. And her husband could handle it and manage it, right? She wasn't walking away saying, well, you know what? This is the answer. <laughs> this is what we're going to do in life. Only until she got to be a millionaire and she required more support. Did Nate say he was going to retire? You see what I'm saying? And he still had enough years on his job that he's going to retire. And I'm sure Nate can get a pension if G had one. He has worked enough years when it's time to collect Social Security. And guess what? Social Security. And I don't think GE is a slouch company that he wasn't making a decent salary, basically. Because from what I understand, I think hey, uh, Nate was an engineer. But I don't know for sure that's what his career was. So I'm saying you pair comparing your journey to hers is, is totally different. That may not be what God... I say God has blessings for everyone. But everyone's not going to be blessed the same way. Your abundant blessing may be coming in your healing and your health. Your abundant blessing may be coming in some other thing. Your child being blessed. Are you getting a scholarship for your child or college? Or it, it, your abundant blessing may be something that, you know, you got a promotion on your job. 
You know, that may be where God wants you to be. So stop focusing on, well, if I make it in this social media game, because that might not be what's for you. You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you can't make it, because I tell people all the time, you can do this, but at what level? Are you wanting to do it? Stop feeling like you're going to have to be that million-dollar winner. That's what people lose and get unhappy and get, and then they realize. Social media is work. Either if you're doing it for joy or not doing it for joy. It's work. It takes time to do videos. It takes time to edit. It takes time to do. If you spend time with it, you interact with your, uh, it's time. And if you're working full time, that's time consuming. So with the other young lady, again, she had a husband and support system. She was already a stay-at-home mom. So she figured, well, okay, I'm going to do something else. And she announced that she had bought her home and her car. Well, do you think that she wasn't going to buy a home anyway? Because she was already a stay-at-home mom. So stop comparing your journey and you get alluded to thinking. And then a lot of people on social media are saying they're living large and in charge. And you find out later on that they have rented homes, to this travel, they've got an Airbnb. It was one man talking about his Airbnb and how the guys had rented this Airbnb for two weeks. And they did a lot of videos while they were in the Airbnb and it was a luxury place. He said he would be glad to rent to them again. So you're looking at somebody on the outside thinking they got this, that, and thing in, in place because people will sell you a dream on here that they're not even living in reality. I do make some money, like I said, but I'm not leaving my job. It can't pay my bills. It's not going to get me where I need to go. It's extra, and I'm thankful, and I'm thankful for the extra that God has blessed me with. But that's what I want to tell you. Let your journey be your journey, and let your focus be your focus. The other young lady, and that's what the testimony with the murder mystery went to. He said, God is not going to tell everybody to leave their job. He said that was his message, that he left his job and pursued that. But that's not going to be everybody's job, everybody's message that God give them. Because God may have your assignment be something else. And your assignment may be on the job you do right now. Whether it's janitor or CEO, your job may be, that may be your ministry. You see what I'm saying? Your blessing. That you need to keep doing. And so I just kind of want to tell y'all, don't get glazed over by the illusion of social media. And what you see somebody else do. Because that not, may not be what God has in store for you. What you can do is pray and pray that God leads you in the right direction. That he's the head of everything that you do. And he will give you the desires of your heart. But you know they have to fit his will for your life too. And in his timing. So just be mindful of that. And I just kind of want to encourage those who are out here on this social media journey. Don't be comparing yourself to somebody else and don't be trying to get where they are. Because as you can see, how many B-loves, how many Peach McIntyres has the person. You have to have a combination of a whole lot of stuff. And it has to hit at the right time. And you could be doing the exact same thing as somebody else and yours not go anywhere. So just stay in your lane and be you and ask God to lead you in the right direction for what your blessing in your abundant area of life is because it may not be where somebody else's is anyway i just want to talk about that and touch on that a little bit because i know a lot of people are getting discouraged with doing youtube a lot of people get discouraged with doing tiktok a lot of people get discouraged with all the stuff you know i think i got a at the most i think i may have earned 30 dollars on facebook this year okay i was on facebook anyway you see what i'm saying so stay in your lane and stay on your road. Stop looking over in somebody else's lane because you can't drive that car and yours at the same time anyway. Okay? That's all. I'm just talking today. But that's all I want to share today. I'm going to get off here. And we're hanging on in there in October. But I want you to know you're loved. I love you. And God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. Love y'all. Bye.